Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. Hey, thank you guys for joining me for June's tarot readings for all the signs. This is just a general introduction to talk a little bit about how we are working for the month. So we're going to be using these three cards in front of you, three cards from each deck and then one Keeper of the Light card at the end of the reading as well. Now I have spent a bit of time with each independent sign working out some intuitive messages for you all and you will each be delivered that at the beginning of your reading as well. I have chosen to use two fairy decks this time in the month's reading. I don't know why, it feels as though there needs to be uh, a degree of warmth and positivity inspired into the readings. Greetings Sagittarians and welcome to your June reading with me. A very warm welcome, namaste to you all. Thanks for joining me. Hey before we start with the cards I did some intuitive work for you and you came up with the number five. Now five can often mean halfway through a project so this might be in relation to personal Career-wise, it might be a creative project you've got in your mind. It could even be halfway through a health issue. So it's about keeping going and knowing that you're on the road towards completion. There's also a possibility that could be competition from other people in or around some of your ideas or projects as well. And to use communication and the color blue and the throat chakra. You may have new ideas and new people around you for the month of June as well. So let us just see what is in store for Sagittarians for June 2018. One more. Okay, the six of wands, the nine of wands, oh sorry, these are swords. So the six of winter is the six of swords and the nine of winter is the nine of swords and then the ten of cups. So yeah, we're definitely over the halfway mark, over the number five as I mentioned before. So, um... We will see what these cards have to deliver for you. So two swords and a cup at the moment. The fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is the throat chakra, which is blue, which is communication. Then the thinking man. Then the door to romance with the Ten of Cups, which is quite a nice mix there as well. I have these cards upside down, I will just turn them the other way up. This is for Sagittarius for June 2018. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. Yeah, we're working through that cycle, so I'm not sure what it is. Everyone will be different, of course, because these aren't personal readings, so they're for a group reading. But it definitely does feel as though you are moving somewhere, <laughs> new home. We'll get to that shortly, actually. So lots of shifts for Sagittarius. And the last card there is your wish is granted. So I'll just move that back a little bit so you can see the whole table. I'm sorry about the jiggling of the camera. I'll try and focus at the moment on the bottom line of cards. We are working primarily through the columns like this. However, the, the readings are quite fluid and I find that messages can often be juxtapositioned from one card to another or one row to another or wherever they like to be within a reading. So feel free to add or place any messages next to others that might seem relevant to you. Starting up here, the six of um, swords, as I said, and then the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, and goodbye to the old and hello to the new. On this card up here, it says, positive changes are on the way, a welcome relief from troubled times, and traveling or relocating. 
it is known as the travel card the six of swords so often this can be physical travel some of you may be planning a trip in or around June or either late May or into July it might be for a holiday it could be for an event to an, attend an event it could be to uh, involved with your career it might be a work related travel it might even be travel to apply for a job overseas there's that possibility as well for some of you it might be leaving something behind that needed to be moved out of your life so either a situation or relationships or a health type issue it is about moving into the future with more positive insight and awareness and like goal setting so that very first message that I gave you about the number five that arrived and knowing that you're halfway through a journey and that you're starting to come out of it and move into the last half towards the final destination seems very relevant and pertinent it can refer to relationships in as much that if there have been any troubled relationships you could be working through that either with communication such as the use of this vibration energy down here or that you might have used mediation or litigation or something else to free you from a situation that was trapping you that was preventing you from moving forward so it feels as though June has got a lot of forward movement in it for you guys whether this be at the physical emotional spiritual or any perspective something's happening for most of you at one or other of those levels we come down here and when it said relocating on that card I almost thought it said renovating so some of you might be renovating homes as well and that might be a project that you've been working through so you might be coming to the end of some sort of renovation now it could be renovation of a home or a business or a, um, you know even renovation of a, a structure like a, a relationships type structure structure <laughs> pardon me guys renovating it that type of thing we'll come down here to the fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel and I think I need him here right now he is in the throat chakra and he is about communication so for any of you who have needed to be able to have your voice heard over any particular matters or areas in your life possibly within personal relationships but also perhaps within your career maybe you've had ideas that no one's been listening to or maybe you've been maltreated and nobody's been listening to that either it's time to stand up and speak up especially when Gabriel is around he kind of gives you the boost that you need to be heard to, to stand up with pride and with some power behind you and say hey guys listen to me this is what I want to say this is what I need to say you know things along those lines so it's a great powerful form of resolution in human life is communication most of everything that we get to in in the world when you look around you is through some form of communication so that's how powerful it is for us and it can be used in a very positive growth like way so the more we involve ourselves in communication at every level the further everything in our life moves he can also be suggestive of issues around the throat so some of you may have throat things that you need to look at you could have viruses such as you know like a flu virus or <coughs> I really do think I need <laughs> Archangel Gabriel right now he needs to jump off that table and come up here to me I do have a bit of a throat issue myself at the moment and um, I'm trying to work through it so you know you could have sore throats or uh, also problems with your teeth some of you may need teeth extractions or f um, you know fillings remedied some of you may get braces on or have them removed there could be things with a thyroid as well the thyroid gland sits in the neck and that can also alter a lot of different perspectives in our life especially energy levels and our, the way we uh, react to things that can make us very emotionally unbalanced as well so Archangel Gabriel is also a wonderful high vibrational energy to call upon for calm and peace and interaction in and around your relationship side of life as well so don't don't forget when these angels appear in a reading and they don't all the time to really utilize the energy of them it is like a gift for the month so we come down here to the bottom card and we see goodbye to the old hello to the new 
we're seeing plenty of that in your potential reading here. It says you've finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So as we say this could be representative of any perspective and for each of you it could be different but I get a feeling for some of you it's like a health cycle. There's definitely something about when it says you've finished a part of your life whether or not you've been working through health issues or you have just acquired a new desire to be healthy or you have uplifted a new modality on how to get yourself through the next decade. Perhaps some of you had a decade birthday and you thought, right, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to do this and become that and look into this. So there feels to be a whole new revolution coming for some of you and it might be self-driven. It's as if you got power or direction or insight, but it's really quite uh, significant. This, this row here in particular is about moving, moving forward and either out of something that was stuck or no longer suiting you or was a bit sluggish or um, especially in relationships. You may have got rid of some relationships that were not serving a purpose or were causing disharmony to you. Now remember that can be friendships, it can be close partners, it can be family members, it can be work people, so you may have moved away from a career as well. We come to this one which is the Nine of Swords and the words underneath this say unfounded fear focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So this traditionally is often known to be around at night time, so it can be a signal of insomnia or inability to get a good night's sleep. So there might be a problem with your sleeping conditions. Perhaps some of you need a new bed or you need to learn sleeping practices such as turning off your mobile phone and you know going to bed earlier or not drinking you know a can of V or something or Red Bull just before you go to bed. It's all about being logical when we're trying to get more sleep. You could also be having a period of nightmares or intense dreams. Some of you may be involving or engaging in astral travel or lucid dreaming and that can be quite significant when this card is around as well. So it might be pertinent to keep a dream diary or journal and take mess take note of any of these messages that come through any form of dreams because they can be significant and they can give you answers or insight into problems in the daily life as well. So if there is a little bit of anxiety that you are suffering from and you are worried about a situation or the prospect or the outcome of one, remember to not look too far into the future because the future is always changeable. It's mutable by the moment. Any different path that we decide to take and vary it by one tiny bit can create a new outcome. So if you're really worried or anxious about a certain event or, an, or a possibility of a health outcome or something heading in a direction that you don't like, come back. Come back to the present and try and perceive a little bit of change in direction on how you're dealing with it or how you believe it could turn out and that relieves anxiety. The problem with anxiety is it's focused on the future so much but we forget about how much we can alter the future by being in the present. So that's a powerful message for relieving tension or fears or anxiety and underneath we have the thinking man He's kind of very much like a Sagittarian energy because Sagittarians are quite the thinking person even though you're not necessarily the ear signs which are associated with thoughts. But he's right under this ear sign card so perhaps he is somehow associated with what's going on with this anxiety or he could be the type of person that is this person in your life. So some of you may know an ear sign person who could be very useful to you one way or another with some ideas or concepts or ability to offer mentoring or support you one way or another. He could be your current partner in life or he could be a very close ally. And as I say, he could be feeling like this. He could be a bit of an anxious person himself. He might work at night or you might make contact with him at night. It might be that type of relationship as well. But that thinking man, when he comes into a reading, he is always in a positive form for you. So he's possibly, if, if he's not a personal friend, 
or mentor, then here's a possibility of someone who is positive in the terms of a career option for you. Whether he's a new employee or in a new employer is a possibility as well. He offers some way out for you through the th use of intellectual thinking and logical steps. I also see down here we've got the new home and he's kind of involved in that. So there's a possibility that is he invested in your finances? Could he be a mortgage broker? Could he be the bank manager? Could he be the IRD man? Could he be a partner who is offering you a home? Could he be someone who is wanting to purchase a home with you? So go into business one way or another. This here says... Um, moving as a step in the right direction for you so we've seen this up here and they've told you implicitly that moving is a right step and same down here for some of you this is literally moving home now this could be uh, younger people leaving home and moving out for the first time and becoming sort of you know on your own flying your wings as such it could be people who are moving out of a home environment where they've been under stress for a while like you might have been sort of borrowing a bed in someone's house and you're finally able to move on it could just be that the relationship you're in in a home has come to a decision where you are moving apart but it feels as though whatever the message is behind this and whether it's physical shifting or emotional shifting it's taking you to a very positive place the journey is just beginning, remember that. And I said that with that number five. So it's about really being excited on the prospects or the front of this new energy coming forward for you guys, especially if any of you have felt you were in a position that wasn't suiting you one way or another. Even if you've been fine and happy and, and just working on a project, this project is moving, it seems to be taking shape and that's exciting in its own way and it's like, wow, let's get to the next level now, I'm all ready for this. So we come over here to this, the last column, and we see the Ten of Cups and the Daughter Romance and your wish is granted. So for those of you looking for possible new romance or just love and harmony in your life, this is a wonderful column for this. It suggests this is happiness in the home realm. And I'll read the words to you. It says, an emotionally fulfilling life with family of or friends, raising children wisely and people you can trust around you. So that's the card that just bodes such happy contemplation and satisfaction of life. And as they say, family and friends and enjoyment of all things positive so when this card turns up it gives off that vibration so even if some of you haven't felt this around you in the month of June there is opportunity to feel moments of that or to be around people who exude that energy perhaps you will be taken into the fold of people like that as well or you yourself might very well be the type of person who does offer this beautiful loving energy as they say, you've brought up children wisely. You are a wonderful host and you have warm friends around you whose company you enjoy and vice versa. So it's a very reciprocal giving, taking energy card. And if we come down here, this door to romance, it would appear some of you have literally opened that door. So yes, there could be new romantic blossomings around. There could be people interested in you and showing. And this thinking man, he could be... Um, a potential partner as well for some of you in the romantic sense not just in a business or practical sense uh, I guess for each of you you'll know what that's resonating for romance is a form of love so it's one that we often do look for if it's out there you guys enjoy it if that's what you're wanting and down here your wish is granted what you've asked for is coming true so again you know wonderful positive card to end your reading on a lot of positivity within this reading and certainly a lot of messages about moving from a position of perhaps being a bit stuck or feeling like things weren't evolving fast enough for you guys so i hope you've enjoyed that the main part of your reading let's see what the very last card is for you sagittarius and i shall just put these away this is a keeper of the light card 
so I will do a bit of shuffling. For Sagittarius, doing Nice, you now have Archangel Michael as well. So you had the two angels come in, which I think is always really lovely. He's very protective around the home. He does offer great nurture and uh, fortitude around your home, your family members in particular. He gives strength and protection as well as uplifting energies. It says on the card, trusting heaven. You are safe, angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So you've got two cards really, that very end one that said uh, your wish is granted. Um, and this one here that says allow a miracle to occur. So put your questions out there to the universe. Ask and you shall receive is the old saying. And remember that whatever you're asking for, if you give gratitude for for receiving it it's more likely to come into your life than ever before so thank you again everyone i wish you a wonderful angel filled june ahead with much happiness and much movement so thanks for tuning in guys i love it when you leave your comments so remember to sub and like the channel and also check your rising and moon signs there could be some really cool interesting points in there for you as well Take care everyone, namaste, much love.